Welcome to ECLMO Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed the uses of a gold leaf electroscope, and one of the uses was testing the presence of charges on bodies. And in that part, we said if you have a body which is charged either positively or negatively, and you want to test if it is charged, then you need a positively or a negatively charged uh, gold leaf electroscope. And then when you introduce your body, which is a positively charged to a negatively charged electroscope, the divergence will fall since this positively charged rod will attract some of the electrons from the leaf of a negatively charged gold leaf electroscope. Therefore, divergence will fall. We also looked at if you introduce a negatively charged rod into the cup of a gold leaf electroscope which is negatively charged also so in that case there will be a repansion between the electrons on the uh, on the rod which you are introducing and the electrons on the cup of the gold leaf electroscope and therefore in that case more electrons will move to the to the metal plate and therefore there will be a great repansion between the metal plate and the gold leaf However, we also look that when you have a charged electroscope, if you touch using your finger, the divergence will also fall. But is your finger positively or negatively charged? No, it is neutral. So in this case, we want to realize that it is very difficult for you to determine if you are introducing an opposite charge where divergence is going to fall or you are introducing a neutral body. So that's what we're going to discuss in this lesson, how to distinguish that. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe how to test the sign of a charge on a charged body. So for us to test the type of charge on a body, we are going to consider three cases. And the first case is when we have a negatively charged gold leaf electroscope which has diverged due to the repansion of these electrons at the leaf and the plate and then now we introduce a negatively charged rod we introduce a negatively charged rod close but not touching the cap of that electroscope so in this case we are uh, going to test through induction or we are doing an induction process so what will happen the electrons from the charging from this rod which is close will repel the electrons on the cap of these gold leaf electrons so some of the electrons will be repelled down when these electrons will be repelled down there will be more electrons on this leaf and the plate and therefore divergence will increase now when divergence increases then we will have our new uh, diagram of our electroscope which is like this divergence has now increased and this angle is larger than this angle one so angle theta two where the divergence has increased will be more than angle one where we have a very small divergence and another thing or another case which we are going to consider is when you have the same same uh, negatively charge this b negatively charged gold leaf electroscope like this which is negatively charged it has diverged due to repansion of these electrons and then here i want us to introduce a positively charged uh, rod close but not touching so it means it's also induction the cup of this gold leaf electroscope what you will realize is that we are introducing an opposite charge to that of the electroscope Therefore, some of the electrons will be attracted to the cup. When some of the electrons will be attracted to the cup, there will be less electrons which will be repelling between the plate and the leaf, and therefore, divergence of this leaf will decrease. And then after this, we can have a general diagram after divergence has decreased to be, you have your electroscope like this, then which has been neutralized somehow, and therefore, divergence has now are decreased from the initial position which it has diverged 
to a very small divergency due to neutralization. Now here it will be neutralized. Number of protons will be the same as number of electrons throughout this whole leaf electroscope because this, the, the protons will be at or the, the electrons will be attracted to the cap. So in this case, you will have the electrons attracted to the cap here. Electrons attracted to the cap by this positively charged rod. And therefore, down here, we will not have any electron, and therefore, divergence now will decrease. And then, this angle of this leaf divergence will be very small. And then, we are going to consider the third case where we have at the same same a negatively charged gold leaf electroscope, which has diverged due to the repansion between the electrons and the, or the electrons on the plate and the leaf. And then in this case, instead of us introducing a positively or negatively charged rod, we want to introduce a neutral body. Neutral body, we can just do it by adding. If we add, if we add the cap of this electroscope, we are going to neutralize this electroscope because add is neutral. This is add, which is neutral. So this one is neutral. So what will happen here? Remember, when you have excess electrons on the electroscope, then they will move through the add to the artist's uh, surface, and therefore now the electroscope will remain neutral, and if it remains neutral, divergence will fall. Now, I want you to consider now, in this case, it will have it like this. We will have our electroscope, which has been neutralized like this, number of protons equals to the number of electrons, by touching this electroscope, you are introducing a neutral body. So the first case, we introduced similar charges. There was a, a, a repansion and divergence increased. In this case, one. In the second case, we had opposite charges. There was attraction, then the repansion. Uh, th there was a, a, a attraction of electrons to the cap. Then the divergence falls when we introduced opposite charge. In the third case, we are introducing a neutral body, and it's behaving like in the case two, where it is get, it's getting neutral, and divergence is also falling, case three. So if you look at case two and case three, and here we want to test the presence of charges, all the type of charges on a material, then Roman C, or part C, the body which you are introducing that is not charged in any way. So a body which is not charged is behaving like a body which is charged when you are introducing an opposite charge. So when you are introducing an opposite charge or when the leaf is falling, it's not the sure way of knowing that a body is charged. The only sure way which you can use to determine that a body is charged is when you introduce a similar charge where there is divergence. Therefore, we can come up with a very small law which says an increase in divergence, like in this case A, is the only sure way of testing the sign of a charge on a charged body. So if you want to know the sign of a charge on a charged body, then you only observe if the leaf is diverging. But if the leaf divergency is falling, then that is not the sure way because both opposite charge and the neutral body will make the whole leaf divergency to fall. Again, it's important to know that when you are testing the type of a charge on a body, you don't use the contact method, you only use induction method because contact method cannot give you the results. So we can summarize that on this chart. Then we have a charge on an electroscope. Then we have the charge brought cl close to the electroscope. Then we have the effects of on divergence. If you have a positively charged electroscope like this, you have a positively charged electroscope. Here it is positively charged like that. Then you introduce a positively charged rod, a positively charged rod. In this case, this positively charged rod will repel these positives and this, some of these positives will move down. Therefore, divergence will increase. So that is the first case which we have looked at in this case. If you have a positively charged electroscope, you introduce a positively charged 
uh, body close to the cup, then there will be an increase in divergency due to repansion from the protons which are coming to the positives which are on the cup. Then if you have an electroscope like this, which is negatively charged, negatively charged, then now you introduce a charging rod close but not touching the cup, which is also negatively charged. So in this case, call it case B. Then what is going to happen, some of these electrons from the, of, from the rod will repel some of the electrons which are on the cup down to the leaf and the plate, and therefore there will be more electrons down there and divergence will also increase. So in this case, if you bring a like charge, a like charge, it means when a, a, a electroscope is charged positively, and then you introduce a positively charged rod, or when a electroscope is charged negatively, then you introduce a negatively charged rod. In both cases, divergence will increase. But now, let's consider case C. If you you bring in, if you have a negatively charged gold leaf electroscope like this, and then you introduce a positively charged uh, rod, you introduce a positively charged rod, this case is a uh, unlike charges, what will happen? These positive charges which are close but not touching will attract some of the electrons to the cup. When they attract some of the electrons to the cup, the leaf divergence will fall. Then, if you also have a positively charged electroscope, you introduce a negatively charged, that is opposite charges, the divergence will also fall. So again, if you have an electroscope, let's call it D, an electroscope which is positively or negatively charged, let's consider one which is positively charged, like this, and then you introduce a neutral body. Neutral body, in this case, I told you the simplest way is just a thing. If you bring a, 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 a neutral body close or and not touching or even you touch, then what will happen? Electrons will move from the ground to the electroscope. And when they move to the electroscope, they will neutralize all these positives. And in the process, when the positives have been neutralized, divergence will fall. So the two cases, the number C and D, is not the surest way of determining the type of charge in a material because both post opposite charges makes the leaf to fall and also neutral body makes the leaf to fall. The only way which you can know the body is charged is when the leaf is diverging because it's only uh, like charges which will make the leaf to diverge. So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will look at dangers of electrostatics and also the application of electrostatics.